Good evening, fellow servants of Zimbabwe. Welcome to episode 15. And this uh, episode is entitled Government's Ban on Keeping Quail, Introduction of New Bond Paper Money, and the issue of some people asking us to dig deeper. It seems as if we never quite run out of unbelievable stories coming out of Zimbabwe. Latest is that government has introduced various fees payable if you keep stroke trade in certain wildlife. While normally this is agreeable, in this case it is just another effort to try and collect more tax and more money so the junta can steal it. Banning the keeping of quail when it is a livelihood for farmers and ordinary citizens. Even Fidza recently stocked them in his tax shop. The one of the, the one the, the tax shop that the president didn't want to come and open. And now all of a sudden it's illegal. Bond coins and bond paper currency that the Junta want to introduce have been written about quite extensively by various people in the last week or so. However, yeah, Brett Mouvet, let us try to explain it in a way that even I as a plumber have a chance of understanding. The US dollar is becoming scarce and the government hasn't got any money to pay civil servants. So, as a short-term solution, they are now going to print money on bond paper as they did back in 2007 and 2008. They will pay civil servants firstly and they in turn purchase goods and pay for services. In this way, it will be introduced into the economy apparently at a rate of one US dollar is equal to one bond dollar. Obviously this will not last long and the black market will open again. Because the junta has closed down most industries, most products are imported. Those who import goods will do so obviously in US dollars and will now have to probably sell in bond dollars. But in order to import stock, they will now need US dollars again. Therefore, they will end up either only selling in US dollars or having to source US dollars from the black market. But that's not going to happen at one is to one. However, that being said, let us concentrate on who the biggest beneficiaries are of this new system. The big shots in the junta will have easy access to the scarce US dollars from the banks. For the average citizen, for me and for you, that will be impossible or you will only get a reduced amount. They will get it at one is to one rates. They will be the ones to open the black markets as they did in 2007. They will sell the US dollar at whatever rate they can get. For example, let's say it falls to one US dollar to a hundred bond dollars. Once they exchange it, they will take their hundred bond dollars to the bank and guess what? At one is to one, they will get a hundred US dollars for it. That's 99 US dollars profit. Now imagine if they exchange one million US dollars at the black market and take that to the bank and get 100 million US dollars. 99 million US dollars profit. Not bad, isn't it? So in reality, the Junta is not really stupid. They are in fact pretty innovative when it comes to looting our country's resources. Let's dig deeper. A former Junta official has released a series of videos against his former bosses. While we do encourage all to speak out against the Junta, we do need to ask these former Junta associates a few questions. For instance, why were you quiet all these years? Did the looting only begin when you left perhaps? All of this time, did you not see the looting or were you just too dumb to notice it. It's quite concerning how these Zidaz people, and yes, that, that, that is not really an English word, but we've come up with that. Zidaz, Z-I-D-A-Z, -Z, stands for ZANU Idiots Demonstrating Against ZANU. These Zidaz people 
seem to only open their eyes after they get booted out. Just like a person who gets baptized. And when they come up from under the water, they have the widest eyes ever that apparently sees everything. On top of now professing a new set of eyes, when they do shout out against their former bosses, they are very quick to say, but I still support my president. Confusion at its highest order. Only now they cry for transparency. Only now they start crying for constitutionalism. Only now they start crying for rule of law. Only now they tell us about the rampant looting that's been going on. You are idiots and lying ones at that. If you look up confused in the Oxford Dictionary, you will see pictures of all these Zedaz guys there. The Let's Dig Deeper series is just the same as the former Junta members who all launched their own little fightbacks to try and retain their looted wealth. Stop it, Gamma Talks, People First, G40, G1635, etc, etc, etc. It's official, guys. The Junta is running out of things to steal in Zimbabwe. So now the looters are turning on each other. You see, it's very difficult if you are used to stealing a hundred thousand US dollars per month to now be reduced to half of that or even less. So instead, you start stealing from your fellow Junta members, making up stories to get them fired and then stealing what they stole. Yeah, at Brett Mouvet, we say, let them tear each other to pieces. We love it. We will take on the last ones, the ones that are left, when the time is right. And that brings an end to another episode of Brett Mouvet News. If you like what I say, and you want to have a look at a couple more videos, please don't hesitate to look at our Facebook page called Brett Mouvet, as well as our YouTube channel, also called Brett Mouvet. Thank you very much.